Hey, what's how you doing? It's Missy, and welcome to Missy's Corner. Today, I have for you a Dollar Tree haul. Are you ready? I know y'all love the haul videos, okay? Because let's just tell the truth about it, okay? Let's just tell the truth. <laughs> People's nose, okay? People want to know what you're buying, uh, what you're drinking, what you're eating, who you sexing. They want to know They want to know all your business. So, some things I don't mind sharing, like what I purchase every now and then from ODG. Okay, my favorite little go-to store when I don't feel like going up in Walmart. Uh, okay, Walmart be having me want to fight somebody. <laughs> Walmart have you lose your religion for one day just just one day cuz I, I know they need to get their money we'll be busy and now them lines be long even the little uh self checkout lines be long people be acting like they don't know what they doing but they really be we ain't gonna get on that that's that's between them and Jesus okay I don't got nothing to do with that but <laughs> so I don't, I, some days I just don't feel like going to Wally World, okay? So, every days when I don't want to go to Walmart, I go to Dollar General. And I picked up a few things, and I was like, I haven't did a Dollar General haul in a while. Sorry about that, y'all. So, that's what I have for y'all today. I know I promised y'all videos for Missy's Corner on every Monday and every Thursday. So, your girl trying to keep her promise. Please forgive the noise in the background. The studio that I record in have construction going on around it. And I tried to call somebody to see if I could get something done about it. But it had to be done during this time period. So, man... We just, we just got to keep the party rolling, okay? Keep the party rolling. So, that's what we're going to do, neighbor. You ready? So, when I go into Dollar General, I usually go when I need certain specific things. But sometimes it just don't work out that way. You just see stuff on the dollar aisle, and you just go nuts. Just like Dollar Tree. You, you can't help it. So, I need it some old feminine products so your girl had to go and pick up some more pads which were $2.95 I know my ring light is kind of bright so please forgive that if it's hurting your eyes but I had to go buy some more pads and like I said they were $2.95 from Dollar General these are the ultra thins like I know I'm old school. I know a lot of women out here wearing tampons, but since I've been a little girl, well, not a little girl, but when, whenever you start, you was like, I don't know what age you was, but I was kind of young. Um, I just always prefer pads because tampons hurt. Okay, I don't know. My coochie too small. I don't know. I don't know what the problem is, but I don't like tampons. They just hurt when you sit down and feel like you're sitting on the stick, you wibble wobble, and I just, I just don't. Yeah. Okay, so that might be two of my, but <laughs> you my neighbor, okay? You got to get get used to me, okay? If you don't like me, go on somewhere else and watch somebody else's videos. But you are here for a reason, okay? Don't get it twisted. God got you here for a reason. And I don't know if it's for my silliness or what. I, it don't matter. You're here. So make sure you subscribe and hit that bell to be notified. But I had got um these overnights for when the cycle is super heavy especially at night when you lay down because women know at night time it seems like that's when the heaviest that's when your period want to get the messiest and you have to worry about messing up your bed and all that so heavy pads i got a pack of those when the cycle's first coming on i got a pack of the um number two which is like a lighter when the flow is lighter or whatever so I bought the 32 pack of these and the 24 of these because you're gonna have more light days than heavy days okay and days when you are not bleeding and just want to make sure you stay nice and dry your girl got some everyday liners Dollar General liners which was $5.25. I usually like the Carefree Extra Long brand, but it was $7. 
can you believe it? I was like, oh no. Dollar General trying to uh, rape the pockets. I couldn't, I couldn't let that happen. I, I, I just said I had to go get them somewhere else. But, um, panty liners, $5.25. Uh, both a pack of these, even though it's different amounts, uh, were $2.95 for the regular and the um, overnight heavy, heavy duty absorbency. Okay. Now, as I told y'all, pass the dial aisle. And. <laughs> If you ain't trying to spend that much money, don't go down the dial aisle, okay? Because you're going to see something you need, you want, or you may may want to try. So this is what happened to me, okay? First thing from the dial aisle. Your girl got some black activated charcoal black soap by Yardley um, London Moisturizing Bath Bar, okay? And... I tried these before and it was a dollar and I loved it y'all it made me feel so nice and clean and refresh after my bath it really don't have too much scent because it's to clarify the skin and to get you feeling nice and clean so in H-Town it is hot how did fish grease right now? So we're taking more than one bath a day. One in the morning, one at night, whenever one whenever you come in the house. Cause you wanna stay fresh and smelling clean, you know what I'm saying? So I purchased three of these. Three of these. Okay. So I put those right there. And to keep the toilet clean, I bought some Lysol clean. Clean and fresh. Um, long lasting fragrance. This is the lavender feel scent. I always gotta keep your toilet bowl clean, people, okay? If you can walk in your bathroom and smell your bathroom and it's not pleasant, it's time to clean it. If you look in your toilet bowl and you scared to sit down, it's time to clean it. I'm tired of going to people's house, okay? And your toilet and your bathroom is not clean. I know your grandma, I know your mama, I know your ain't. I know somebody told you to keep your bathroom clean. If you ain't going to clean nothing else in your house, okay? Your living room need to be clean. Your kitchen need to be clean. Your bathroom need to be clean. What you do behind closed doors in your bedroom is your business. Okay? In your dining room. Too many people don't go in the dining room. So that's one room that usually I always stay clean. Because everybody in America, for the most part, eat in their bedroom or in their living room in front of the TV. Okay? But I'm just saying, ain't nobody never told you, Missy, gonna tell you. Okay? I, I ain't gonna keep nothing from you. I'm gonna tell you. I'm gonna tell you what the old heads taught me okay that's what they taught me so you got to keep your bathroom clean and this will do that for you with a good toilet scrub brush it smells so good and you just put it around the ring let it soak for 10 minutes 15 if it's super dirty from all them bathroom breaks and you get the scrubbing. You get the scrubbing, scrubbing, scrubbing. Watch the flick of the wrist. Oh, watch the flick of the wrist, okay? You can use the wrist for other than cooking other stuff, okay? Now, also on the dollar aisle, I picked up some Almond Hammer Essential Ultra Moisturizing Body Wash with Soothing Baking Soda. And the scent is simply fresh, and y'all, this is a good, this is a good body wash for a dollar. Got a nice, pleasant, little fresh scent. Okay, you can get this for you or your man. It's, it's unisex. Anybody can use it. Now, you gotta be careful with baby skin. So just use baby shampoo or baby soap for the babies. Just. Leave this right here for the grown folks. 
because I'm not sure because I don't got no kids, but I use it on me. And it was fine. It didn't irritate nothing. I didn't have no problems. I smelled fresh. I, I felt good. So, only a dollar. A dollar general. Okay, also from the dollar aisle, I picked up some honeysuckle. <laughs> honeysuckle. I like saying it. Don't pay me no mind. Okay, honeysuckle dryer sheets. And it smells so good. I got this off of the dollar aisle. It's 40 sheets, y'all, for only a dollar. So don't be sleeping on the dollar aisle. Okay, don't do it. Say you a little change, okay? You don't have to always get gained and tired and all the unstoppables, unsinnable, whatever it's called, all the time. Get you some, get you some, some cheap stuff. Ain't no wrong with saving a little bread. Okay, sometimes you just got a ball on the budget. All right, so what else I got from the dollar aisle? I needed some more large Ziploc storage bags because when I go sh grocery shopping, women, mothers, grandmothers, you already know. If you do a lot of kick it, cooking in your kitchen, you have to break down your meat, clean your meat, separate your meat when you come home from the grocery store. If you do it later, it's going to be harder because your meat going to be froze. So you're going to have to defrost your meat and all this stuff. But when you come home from the grocery store, if you bought family packs of meat and you're not paying on, planning on cooking family sized meals all the time, then you need to get you some storage bags, some gallon storage bags from Hefty or whichever brand you use, but that are freezer safe. This was on the dollar aisle. This is six large bags. I don't need that many, cause it's just me. So, um, you take out your meat, you wash your meat, okay, with vinegar or whatever you use. Um, and then you separate how like how depending on how you're gonna cook your meals is how you're gonna separate your meat and freeze it so if y'all want a video about that so i can break down the whole process then i i'll do that for y'all but i'm not gonna go in there right now because it's gonna make my dollar general general video too long okay i was just checking my camera y'all Next thing is I have some now I opened it already but it is this okay now this one the rest of the stuff wasn't on the um a dollar thing. Is my camera going? I'm gonna be so mad. If my camera thing <laughs> Oh, lol. Okay, y'all. Um, the next item is toothbrush covers. I have a thing about my toothbrushes. I like for my toothbrushes to be protected when I'm not using it. So, I bought a pack of the toothbrush covers. After you get through using your toothbrush, you put it on your toothbrush. It comes in a pack of four. I think this was for a dollar or two dollars in the um the toothpaste tooth um toothpaste aisle where you get the dental floss and all that. <clears throat> this is what it looks like. This is a purple one. And it just opens and you can put your toothbrush inside and close it up and keep it protected from outside home and then <laughs> okay and it came with a red one a green one a blue one and a purple one so I'm weird everything has to be color coordinated with me so therefore when I change my toothbrush, I change my cover. Don't ask me why. It's just things that I do. Okay. Now, <clears throat> next item is Dove, Nour Dove Nourishing Body Care Beauty Cream. 24-hour moisture 
I haven't opened it yet because I was waiting to do this, but I saw this and I wanted to try it. This is a different scent. They have one with a white top and a blue bottom, and that's the one I had at first, and I loved it because it smelled so good, so good. Okay, so whichever one you see, just try it if you, if you are a Dove girl, okay? about keeping things moisturized ladies gentlemen kids boys and girls do not be going around here with no dry lips most ladies put on a little lipstick a little lip gloss if you don't have nothing on at all you need you some some chapstick or you need you some good old cormix so I picked up two packs of this and this is the second pack I don't remember exactly how much it was, but I don't think it was no more than um, $3. It was definitely under $3. I just can't remember the amount because I don't have my receipt with me. But I'll remember it next time, y'all. But this is the three-pack of the little car mixes. And this stuff feels great on your lips. Medicated lip balm feels good. Especially if you have dry lips or um, cracked lips because you haven't been taking care of your lips, okay? Or you didn't let a little extra layer of dead skin come on there. If you want for me to do a lip care video, I can do that too. But this is medicated, so um, if you do have any cracks <coughs> excuse me, in your lips because of dead skin, it's going to burn. <laughs> I'm letting you know. It is going to burn, but it's going to feel good later. So don't get scared, but you got a nice little tingle, tingle feeling, okay? Let's move on. Now, um, the first Lysol toilet cleaner I showed you, it was from the dollar aisle. This was from the regular cleaning aisle. I had some Lysol coupons, so I picked up two of these because you're not playing okay i need my toilet clean if i don't feel comfortable sitting on the toilet guess what my body is not gonna let me go to the bathroom i cannot use the bathroom <laughs> i was telling my best friend this the other day i was like don't you hate it when you go somewhere and you gotta pee so bad you drunk too much water you've been at the club you've been drinking you you then went to your favorite place and had too many cocktails or you at your friend house and they 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 just not up on they cleaning and stuff like that and you go to the bathroom and you look at the bathroom and it's just not to your standards. Everybody have different standards in life. You just got to respect people for what it is. But I can't sit on no, no dirty toilet. And I know you're supposed to be squatting. If the if you have if you go to a dirty bathroom and you got to go to the bathroom and it's dirty, you can squat. But I don't want to squat over a dirty toilet. I don't want to be around a dirty toilet. <laughs> <laughs> so, I'm going to make sure my bathroom stay to my standards. And whatever your standards is, make sure. But if you need some cleaning products, DG got you, okay? So, I had some coupons, so I got two of those. And I don't have any pets. Um, But I know people love their dogs and cats and birds and, and reptiles and, and all that other stuff. So, um, I also picked up um, some Resolve for any carpet spill so if I ever have like family over or I throw a little shin dig shin shin dig or whatever throw a little party or something and somebody gets on my carpet I can clean it and um I was drinking something one day I don't remember what it was but I sprayed some of this down and got it right on up so anybody um have a testimonial about this put it down below in the comment section because I used it and it worked pretty good. So I'm glad about it. Okay. A few more items, y'all. Just a few more items. 
and I'm gonna let you go. Ah, uh, we done made it to my favorite part of the haul. Y'all already know, I'm a smell freak. I love things to smell good. That's, that's, that's just me. Okay, I like to smell uh, good and I like my house to smell good as well. So this is my air freshener. I put in my little um what they call them things? Uh the little sprayers, the automated ones with the um the batteries you got to put in there. I can't remember the name, but you know what I mean. You got them up in your bathroom, up in your living room, up up everywhere. And they just spray every couple of minutes, every 10 minutes, 20 minutes. I can't talk right today down. 10 minutes, um, 30 minutes or whatever. This is the Dollar General brand, um, True Living, Hint of Spring. And this is a two-pack for $5.00. Can y'all see that this room like this being a pain in the butt? Hopefully y'all can see that. That's the little sniffing thing. So if you ever be in the store and you want to see what it, it um, smells like, you can do that. But I stopped doing that since Corona. Okay. I just wait till I get it home. I and try every scent anyway. So I knew it was going to be good. And... Y'all also know I like to put wall plugs in in each room of my house. If you don't know, you're a new subscriber. <laughs> but all my old heads, all my neighbors know that I like each one of my rooms to smell different because it just takes you to a little smell good world. Every time you go in a different room and you smell something new and fresh or sweet or, or not savory, but manly because i get like a little woody scents and stuff like is this the bomb okay so this is a febreze plug in it's not necessarily new anymore but it comes with the two scents connected to it i wanted to try it out because usually i just use um airwick but i wanted to try the febreze one to see if it lasts longer like it said do. And this one's supposed to transfer between scents. So it go like back and forth. I want to see if that work. If it do, I might go and purchase um, a few more of these. This is the first one, but I'm going to try it out. Let y'all know. And if y'all do have one of these, let me know <clears throat> down below. Let me know what's your favorite scent. Because I think I saw two more sense that they have this the one that just came with the the um, plug-in also to keep your bathroom fresh this works okay I don't know if I need to call uh, Febreze or who but this right here works <clears throat> the small spaces Febreze you put these in your bathroom I put this one on my toilet tank like the tank of the toilet in the back to keep the bathroom nice and fresh smelling and they work and they keep your bathroom fresh the only problem i have with this is is that they say 45 days you seen that up here you seen up here where it said 45 days Febreze, you lying. You lying! <laughs> it do not last 45 days, but while it lasts, it'll have your bathroom smelling good as it should, okay? But y'all nah, gotta be lying like that. It don't last no 45 days. Because as soon as you hit the little button on the back, it go down. But if you want your bathroom to smell really, really good for about a good 15 or 20 days, maybe 30 at the most and gonna try them out and they have a lot a lot of different scents and they all smell so good so when it come down to febreze and they scents they be on point like the smells they they got the different scents but 
that lasting power ain't as long as they be saying they they be they be they they need they they butt spanked cause they lie. You know I you know I used to be a child and your parents get on you for lying. They spank you. They tell you, you ain't supposed to be lying. That's what somebody need to do to, to a company for breeze too. They be lying. So the last few items, last but not least, I picked up some Glade spray cashmere woods. Cause Glade used to be the the it before Febreze came around. So I picked these up for a dollar. I have two of these. And I wanted to get one more because I use them all the time all around the house. So um, it didn't have any more so I had to pick up the Dollar General brand, the uh, True Living Cashmere Vanilla Air Freshener. So it's still cashmere, but it's cashmere vanilla. Can y'all see that? And it smells good. It just has a little extra scent of vanilla. This was a dollar. But the Glade was also a dollar. And this one is just cashmere woods. Okay. Can you see that? I know it takes my camera so long to focus and focus back out. But if you want your house having a nice, beautiful smell, oh my goodness, you know. Oh, that smells so good. Who used to do that as a kid? Spray the air freshener and just stand under it? Because you know it's going to come down. It ain't. And I like it stay in the air forever. But I would just used to spray it and used to just follow me. And I would go in public gallery. People say, oh, you smell so good. What is that scent? What is that smell you wearing? I used to bust out laughing because it would be air freshener because I was spraying it and standing under it. Anyway, <laughs> that's enough about me. That is all of my bags. Okay, so that's all a Missy's Dollar General haul. Thank y'all so much for coming to spend some time with me today. Sorry it took so long for me to get this video out. I was trying to wait till they was done with the construction, making all that noise, but they just wasn't going to quit it. Okay, so my apologies for that, but thank you for joining me, Missy in the place to be hey and where that is right here on missy's corner hey on missy's corner see you next time later